Okay, then we'll come back after the break. So, before going to the break, we understood the whole concept of mutual funds. Now, all I want to ask you is, today is 1st of December. 15 lakh is credited in your bank account. Would you want to invest? I'm asking you for the last time. Would you want to invest in my mutual fund, SK mutual fund? Yes or no? Please tell me. I'm waiting for your answers, guys. Yes, 10 lakh rupees per head. 200 people say watching. SK mutual funds, everybody ready to invest? Let's bring it on. So. So, 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 so. So now you are saying that, yes, sir. We want to invest, sir. We trust you, sir. And I'm, we are sure, sir, from 1st of December till sir, May end, you will increase our value of our portfolio. So now how does this whole system work? How does this whole system work? You will say, ask me. So I will tell you that, see, each one of you has 10 lakh rupees. Each one of you has 10 lakh rupees. Such 200 people as such you guys are there. Correct. So in all, I am expecting a 20 crore fund asset under management fund. Okay. Now, how will you get an assurity that whether things are on the right track or not. So for such thing, Mr. Van Katwitch, even 250 years back, introduced the system of giving units. Introduced the system of giving units. So he said that, suppose if you want to give 10 lakh rupees to me, I will decide a offer price. I will decide a offer price for every unit. I will decide a offer price for for every unit. So say Van Katic at the beginning decided this price to be say rupees 100 or say 1000 per unit 1000 per unit so now tell me suppose sk mutual fund sk mutual fund decides that okay whoever wants to purchase the mutual fund of sk mutual fund can purchase it at rupees 1000 per unit what is this called this at that point in time was called as offer price over a period of time, this name was changed to net asset value, to net asset value per unit. What is net asset value? Everything I will explain, Baba. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. So let's say, let's take an example that you are investing this 10 lakh rupees with me. Let's assume that this is the only 10 lakh rupees that I get. Let's assume that. How many units will I give to you? My offer price to start with or what you call as the net asset value. What it is, I will explain. Don't worry. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is rupees 1000 per unit. Tell me how many units am I basically going to offer to you if you are going to give me rupees 10 lakh. I'm, I'm waiting for your answers. Correct. So you will say, sir, rupees 10 lakh is what you are we are going to give you so you are going to charge us 1000 per unit so in return how many units we will get in return we will get 1000 units let's keep it some other number let's keep this as 20 lakh let's keep this as 20 lakh so i will get 2000 units Right. So basically you have invested 20 lakh in SK mutual fund per unit fund is 10, 1000 rupees and I have offered you two 2000 units. Now what will I do with this 2 lakh rupees? I will keep with myself and enjoy. Go to Dubai casino. Yes. What will I do with this 20 lakh? 
I am SK Mutual Fund. I have got 20 lakh. I have issued you 2000 units. What will I do now? What will I do with this 20 lakh? Can I say I will start investing? Can I say I will? Yes. Can I say I will start investing? So suppose here I start investing this 20 lakh rupees. And for now, for now, I invest this into Reliance Industries Limited. And I invest this into say ONGC, Oil and Natural Gas Corporation. Now, when I invested in Reliance, the share price of Reliance was say, as I am planning to invest 50% in Reliance. So say 10 lakh rupees, I am planning to invest in Reliance. Share price of Reliance was rupees 2000 per share rupees 2000 per share tell me how many shares i will get how many shares i will buy tell me how many shares will i buy with this amount of money and with this share price correct 500 shares Sure. So 500 shares in short I purchased of RIL at the rate 2000, 10 lakh. Okay. ONGC also I want to purchase 10 lakh shares, 10 lakh rupees. I'm investing and here the cost is 5000 per share. How many shares will I get? Can I say 200 shares I will get of ONGC, of ONGC, right? Now, 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 now what will happen is, obviously I have purchased this. Now, on May, in May, say 18th of May, your paper will be over. On 18th of May, can I say your exams will be over? What will you do the first thing? You will immediately call me and say, ask, sir, what has happened to our units of mutual fund that we had invested with you? I will be like very, very happy. And I will tell you, boss, it's a great news for us. We are making profits and returns. Sir, how much, how much, how much? So I will say, see, RIL, we had purchased 500 shares on 5th of December or whatever. We had purchased it for 2000. Now the shares are trading at 3000 rupees. Yes. So the value <coughs> has become 15 lakhs. Wow. And, 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 <coughs> sir, what about ONGC? What about ONGC? Actually, huh, now what about ONGC sir? Actually ONGC, there is some issue going on. So 200 shares that we had purchased at 5000 are now trading at 4500. Are trading at 4500. So equal to rupees 9 lakhs. But, 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 but all in all, now the value of your investment is rupees 24 lakhs. It is rupees 24 lakhs. Are you happy or not? In a span of six months, boss, in a span of six months, while you were writing your examinations, while you were studying for your exams, I have converted your 20 lakh to 24 lakh, giving you a return of 20% just in a span of six months. An annual return of 40%. Are you happy or not yet? Tell me. Yeah, tell me. Yes, yes. You are very happy. Now, Obviously, after your examinations, you go to this. Uh, uh, after your examinations, uh, you go to this office for your article chip. Last one, two months are left, right? So you go to the office and all your juniors come and ask you, hey, uh, what have you done of the 15 lakh rupees? Or how are your exams and all of that? And you tell them, boss, I have invested at the right place. I have invested with SK, sir in SK mutual funds and the value is now 24 lakh rupees, 20% return in six months. And your juniors are like, Arre, yaar, you should have told us. We invested in uh, fixed deposit and we have earned only 5%. Now what do we do? We have earned 20. So you tell them no problem. If you want to invest, I know sir has kept it as an open-ended mutual fund. You can now invest in that mutual fund. You can now invest in that mutual fund. So now your friend are asking, I also want to purchase, I also want to purchase. Suppose your friend says that you had purchased 20 lakh, I also have 20 lakh rupees with me. I also want to now purchase SK mutual fund. So can I say I will, so can I say he will also get, uh, 
how many units um can i say i will he will i will say that okay uh, one unit is for 1000 per unit so he will also get 2000 units will i say this to him as of say 31st of may after examinations when he comes to know is this going to be the scenario will i will sk mutual fund give it to him at 1000 per unit which was given to <laughs> which was given to you boss you had invested in me pun intended a deep thought you had invested in me when nobody trusted me when nobody was there for me that time you had invested in me now people know that okay is giving good returns is giving good things so now people are coming so obviously they should give a premium for it or not and definitely you deserve something are you understanding guys okay so 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 we will say we will say that boss if you now to want to invest we will not give it to you at 1000 per unit sorry boss no ways what will we do what will we do we will tell him that boss you have to now purchase at the current price so can i say the current value current market value of our fund has now become rupees 24 lakh has now become 24 lakh and in this 24 lakh we have outstanding 2000 units so can i say now the value per unit value of the fund per unit value of the fund is rupees 1200 so can i say the revised nav now the nav as of now as of correct now the nav as of 31st may is 1200 per unit boss you have to give 1200 per unit so in short your friend when he will invest 20 lakh rupees divide by 1200 he will get not 1000 units but probably 833 units and this is how the value of nav is calculated and let me tell you for open-ended funds anytime you can purchase anytime you can save the nav changes every day and who calculates this nav people like you and me the chartered accountants yes you got that right so a huge scope waiting for us in the market are you understanding guys so nav will then change on a daily basis so every day what happens according to sebi what they have said every day every trading day when the market ends at that time you have to calculate the net asset value based on the current market value of investments and then when next day somebody wants to purchase and sell the previous day close at that price every day buying and selling will happen then again day end is going to happen we will calculate the nav that nav will be used next day for buying and selling of mutual fund units are you understanding guys Is it called as asset valuation? Mm, kind of. Oh, sorry, 833 instead of this, see whatever it comes. Mathematically, you can just solve. So instead of 2000 units, now he's going to get 1669 units. There is a this. Are you clear, everybody? What is NAV? What is NAV? If I have to ask you in a simple language, what is NAV? Can I say market price of a unit? Correct. Can I say in a simple word? Basically, NAV represents the market price of the mutual fund unit. See, I have written here. Mm. See, here. price or value at which every unit of mutual fund is purchased or sold. Are we clear, everybody? Bolo bolo tell tell. So what is now? Price or value at which every unit, every unit of mutual fund is purchased or sold. Purchased or sold. <laughs> right, 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 right. Okay. Now, 
no 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 so now we are clear now suppose in our mutual fund units in our mutual fund unit c we have invested suppose sk mutual fund instead of other than what i'll say is in other than shares can i say i will also invest in bonds i am also invest few amount in fixed deposit to save be secure for that amount i will invest some amount so i can also invest in some mutual funds so if any mutual fund has to be purchased or sold purchased or sold it will be on the basis of nav per unit it will be on the basis of nav per unit and how is this nav calculated this nav is basically market value of investments this nav what is this nav it is basically market value of investments right but 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 let me tell you one thing so when i am calculating nav when i am calculating nav can i say i will first write down what how it is calculated it is the market value of investments this investment can include what this investment will include shares it can include gold it can include bonds it can include anything right plus 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 can i say suppose if you came to me and purchase the uh, mutual fund on 1st of december and after 5 years if you come to redeem it after 5 years can i say in between the market value of shares gold bonds whatever i have invested would increase but at the same time can i say these shares would have also earned some dividend these shares would also have earned some dividend whom does it belong to can i say obvious dividend belongs to the unit holder so can i say i will also add your dividend received it is very much possible that during this time interest would have been earned on investment like bonds so interest received are we understanding guys right any other income any other miscellaneous income through gold through anything everything will become a part of this so dina is saying sir bonus shares yes bonus will also be added any appreciation on account of bonus will also be added so any other income see this sir on by investments done by the mutual fund all will be added here which obviously let's write it donor bonus uh, dina bonus shares also effectively bonus shares do not give increase in value but i'll still write it down if you have used the word i'll write that also so any bonus shares everything is added here see what will happen is bonus shares will automatically increase your number of shares and the market value will automatically get adjusted there but why did it mean so for calculating nav all of these things will be added but there is one expenditure who is that can i say sk please give him his fees also na so we will say that less less any accrued expenses that can happen or any outstanding liability or any other payable if arises no chance see mutual fund in india is strictly regulated by sebi and sebi strictly says do not borrow even a single penny it is a direction given to the mutual fund mutual funds cannot borrow even a single pen penny to for making their investment so mutual fund only can take the asset under management and invest that mutual funds cannot borrow anything and invest so if borrowing is not there payables and all of that by default will not be there but if there are any you can just reduce that and this basically all the assets less the liabilities when you do that can i say you call this as net asset can i say you call this as net asset but this net asset is based on market value and hence the name but this net asset value is in totality 
when we divide this net asset with outstanding number of units why outstanding because see every day every day it is a possibility every day it is a possibility uh, every day it is a possibility that outstand uh, the number of units will be purchased and sold on a daily basis so every day the number of units will be changed so daily basis whatever is the outstanding number of units that you have divided by this and you will finally get net asset value per unit net asset value per unit and this is the net asset value per unit at which you will purchase and sell shares are we understanding guys Yes, accrued expenses will have your brokerage and everything or any other cost that the mutual fund is incurring. Uh, Chetan has written exit load. So entry load, exit load, I'll tackle it later on. For now, let's keep it simple. Guys, are we absolutely clear what is NAV and how it is calculated? What is NAV? The this, 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 this. Price of value at which every unit of mutual fund is purchased or sold. <sighs> Got it, everyone? You want to write this down or it's okay? Sajigadu! Yeah, don't worry, I will upload everything. So you don't have to worry at all. And writing practice we will have. Don't worry for that. For sure I will have. People, few people are writing. I'll just wait for two minutes and then I'll continue.
चलो गाइज अभी डन येस गाइज डन 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 सो अभी क्लियर विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ म्यूचुअल फंड अभी क्लियर विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ म्यूचुअल फंड टेल मी येस और नो अभी क्लियर विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ओपन एंडेड म्यूचुअल फंड अभी क्लियर विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ क्लोज एंडेड म्यूचुअल फंड अभी क्लियर विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ नेट एसेट वैल्यू सीन ऑफ सब पॉइंट रिलेटेड टू नेट एसेट वैल्यू सम पॉइंट रिलेटेड टू नेट एसेट वैल्यू सी ओ नेट एसेट वैल्यू चेंजेस एवरी डे येस और नो Every working day, who according to Sebi, what has Sebi said? Every day end, you have to prepare a net asset value of the fund of every unit based on the market value of the shares, bonds, investment accrued, interest accrued, dividend accrued, less any expenses paid proportionately. All of this has to be done day end every day. Sebi compulsory yes. Open ended fund trading will always be on net asset value. So purchase and sales will always be on the net asset value. Are we clear, guys? So this will also include your equity shares, equity dividend, debenture interest, miscellaneous income, any other liability, a capital gain if there. So capital gain will also come. Capital gain will also be there, right? So all of that will in totality. be your net asset value i hope we are absolutely clear and on that note ladies and gentlemen finally we are starting with question number 1 are you ready and are you excited let's do it so the first question is a basic question on calculation of nav will we be able to do it Let's do it. Chalo, shall we start, guys? Everybody has opened it. Chal, great. So, first questions of the day. Look here. On your screen, the following details of a fund are available. Stock A. So this fund has basically invested in four funds in four stocks: stock A, stock B, stock C, stock D. Stock A shares two lakh, price thirty five. Shares B three lakh, price forty. C four lakh twenty. D six lakh twenty five. Okay, the fund has accrued management fees with the portfolio manager totaling rupees thirty thousand expense. There are forty lakh outstanding units. Okay, what is the nav of the fund? If the fund is sold without a load, what is the sale price? So you can ignore this point because in this case we have not done load, and here they have only said that there is no load at all. So it's okay. So what is the nav of the fund is what we have to calculate. Will we try it all, everybody? Sure. First question. So we will do it together. Let's do it. So here, sorry, uh, we have four shares with us. So we have four stocks with us. Stock A. B, C, and D. Okay, number, market price will give us value. Two lakh, three lakh, four lakh, six lakh. So two lakh, three lakh. Four lakh and six lakh. 
All right. Okay. Market price thirty five forty twenty twenty five. And finally, we will get the value. So two lakh into thirty five. What is the value? Bolo bolo chal chal. Correct. It will be rupees seventy lakhs. Thirty three lakh into forty. Rupees one lakh twenty thousand. Four lakh into twenty. Rupees eighty lakh, six lakh into twenty five. Rupees one crore fifty lakh. Tell me the total. Three two lakh three sorry two crores three crores three fifty four crore twenty lakh. Correct. Four crore twenty lakh is the market value of assets. Is the market value of assets less outstanding liabilities slash accrued expenses? How much? Thirty thousand. No, thirty thousand asset management fees and all of that. So that is deducted, and we will get. Market value of net assets. How much? Four crore nineteen lakh seventy thousand. Four crore nineteen lakh seventy thousand. Correct. So, how do you calculate the net net asset value? It will be market value. Of net assets divided by outstanding number of units. Okay, what is the market value of net assets? We just calculated four crore ninety lakh seventy thousand divided by outstanding number of units. Are how much? It is given in the question. Clearly given in the question. Forty lakh units outstanding. Got it. So finally, the NAV will be. Please tell me. Four crore nineteen lakh seventy thousand divided by forty lakh. What will be the NAV? Correct. It will be ten point four nine two five. Now, 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 now. Yes. See, few people have written ten point four nine. Few people have written approximately ten point five. Few, few people have written something else. Let us standardize it because every time nav, sometime we will take two decimals, some three, some four will not work. No. So what I have observed is in few suggested, I C A I has taken nav up to two decimals. In few suggested, ICI has taken NAV up to three decimals, and maximum that they have taken in decimals is four decimals. Tell me, tell me, which one will we prefer? Few they have taken two, few they have taken three, few they have taken four. So by default, we will say that maximum how much ICI have taken. Let us be prepared for that. So from now on, if we are calculating NAV. We will calculate up to four decimals. Calculate up to four decimals. We don't know who is going to be the paper setter and checker. We want to be sure that we get the maximum marks. So as per ICI, majority all the uh, suggestions I have seen everywhere, maximum they have taken four decimals. Niharika has taken four ten point five. Not allowed. No marks. Four decimals. And as regards units are concerned, as regards say number of units are concerned, as regards number of units are concerned. So say for example you want to purchase some units, 
Suppose you have 10 lakh rupees and you want to purchase at and the NAV is 10.4925. Say the NAV is 10.4925 per unit. How many units will you get? 10 lakh divided by 4.925. How many units will you get? Tell me. Will you round off the units or not? If it was an equity share, definitely we would have rounded it off. But this is not an equity share. A mutual fund unit is also considered in units decimals. In decimals. So divide by 10.4925 is 95306.1711 units. I have seen ICAI to take number of units to two decimals. So if you don't want to take the risk, take four decimal <laughs> if you want to be over secure. But even two decimals is acceptable as per all the suggested answers that I have seen. So ICAI if has to write this answer, they will write 95306.1711. Units point one seven units. Sir, how can units be in decimals? Why not? Why not? See, everything now, nothing is in terms of physical shares. Everything now is, uh, you can say, on the basis of electronic transfers, right? So you also have a DMAT for mutual funds. So why can't you just write there in units, the units in decimals, in fractions also? Ha. Huh. Previously, when everything was in paper form, it can be difficult. But now everything is electronic. Definitely, you can do this. Got it, everybody? Yes. Now, everybody, please take two minutes. Solve this question. Solve this question. In this presentation, absolutely. Please.
will we be able to purchase equity shares in decimal units not now but maybe very soon see in equity shares what happens is there is voting so that's the reason voting uh, in general meeting annual general meetings and everything voting happens that's the reason they have not kept it in fraction in mutual funds all of that is not there so whatever money that you have invested in mutual funds every single penny will be given to you as a unit but as regards the equity shares are concerned there is voting is there then that proportionate thing is there so that's the reason they have not kept that in uh, in decimals that way got it done okay guys done everybody uh okay add it to the student notes done the pdf that i have currently is is it does not have that student notes but yes i'll just write it here separately so what have what are we going to write in student notes yes we venkat ram kumar we will write here nav four decimals we will write number of units Two decimals. Done. Great. All right. A case. So okay, guys. I hope everybody is clear till here. Anybody, any issues? Cool from start to end. So far, so good. Were we able to derive the NAV formula by ourselves? Were we able to understand the concept of open-ended, close-ended, even before it became mainstream? Right? Cool. Awesome. now the last part and then we will call it a day what we will do is we will just go through this the first few points we will understand see here what are mutual funds then calculation of nav till here we will just try and understand just open your pdf so i'll just read it up see here the money pooled in by large number of investors is what makes a mutual fund right a mutual fund is a pool managed by professional fund manager it is a trust that collects money see there is a trust involved no you gave me 20 crore rupees obviously as a professionally managed thing but there was a trust involved right so whenever this transaction happens between mutual funds the trust will always be involved it is a trust that collects money from a number of investors who are who share a common investment objective all of your library friends had a common objective that we want to invest 10 lakh rupees with mr sankalp kanstia in sk mutual funds so that over a period of 6 months when we are done with our exams we get a reasonable return from it by sir ensuring the investment in funds like shares bonds gold and other alternative investments am i right okay then so common objective then it invests money in equities bonds money market instruments and other securities all of this we will be learning in your whole sfm the income or gain generated from the units sorry 
each investor which represent a portion or holding of the fund the income or gain generated from the collective investment is distributed proportionately among the investors after deducting certain expenses and that basically is called that net asset value in other words a mutual fund is one of the most viable option of the common man as it offers opportunity to invest in a diversified professionally managed basket of securities at a relatively low cost at a relatively low cost right so a small example is given here there are friends who want certain chocolates so this is the example huh? so there are friends and there is a box of chocolate if you want this chocolate you need to purchase the box and this box has 12 chocolates this box has 12 chocolates and there are four friends okay the box costs rupees 40 tell me what will we do can i say the friends will purchase the box by mutually mutually contributing rupees 10 per friend multiply by four friends will give rupees 40 and this 12 chocolates this 12 chocolates will be distributed among four friends as three chocolate per friend three chocolate per friend are we clear everybody three chocolates per friend everybody is happy the friend who wanted chocolates cannot afford the whole box have now got three chocolates and for that they have invested 10 rupees got it so for now if, if you think from units and net asset value wise so you have invested 10 rupees and you have got three chocolates so basically three units so per unit is how much what is the nav 3.33 per chocolate so this is your net asset value three chocolate is your units and 10 is the amount that you have invested got it everyone great 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 so let's say there is a box of 12 chocolates costing 40 four friends decided to buy the same but they have rupees 10 only shopkeeper only sells one of the box so friends decided to pull in 10 rupees and to buy the box of 12 chocolates now they receive 12 chocolates or 3 units per friend. And if you calculate the cost of 1 unit, simply divide the number of chocolates. And that works out to 3.33 per chocolate. If you were to multiply the number of units with cost per unit, you will get the initial investment of rupees 10. So I think pretty much clear. So here it is, this, see, this is all called as pass through scheme. The whole concept of, the whole concept of your, uh, Mutual funds is basically on the fundamental of pass-through scheme. Investors, in investors, there is pooling of money given to the fund manager who invests in securities, generates a return, passes it back to the investors. Simple. Chalo. Who can invest in mutual fund? Anybody with an investable surplus can invest. How mutual funds work for you? Now we are pretty much aware of this. You can read that. Okay. Now we have something called as net asset value. So the performance or a particular scheme of a mutual fund is denoted by net asset value. We have learned it in DT real estate institutional investment trust oh very good so for example in stock market share price is market value in mutual funds nav is the market value of units of mutual fund all right guys and how is the nav calculated net asset value divided by number of units outstanding number of units outstanding obviously will be given and how do you calculate the net asset value it is the market value of the investments so whatever market value of investments, whatever investment that I have had, I will take the market value of that plus any receivable, accrued income, other asset, less we will reduce 
expenses, other payables and other liabilities. And then a small explanation is given. Should you invest in stock or mutual fund? I have given you a simple answer for that. Should you invest in a stock or a mutual fund directly? Should you invest in shares directly or you should invest in mutual fund? If the answer to this question, do you have time? Yes. Do you have professional knowledge? Yes. If the answer to your question is yes, both questions is yes, then you should invest directly in shares. Then you should directly invest in shares. Else, go for mutual funds. And this is what they have just written here. You can go through it. All right. Are we clear, guys? So, sure. Done. So, we will just call it wraps here. Initial time before things go overhead. Whatever we've understood, let's it be there at the right place. All right, guys. So I hope you are absolutely clear with whatever has been done today. Once sum is done, little theory was done. Introduction to mutual funds is also done. Got it, everybody? Sure. Done, 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 done. Time for me to say, hasta la vista. Okay, so, okay, so, okay. So, awesome. That's great to know. All clear. Great session. I'm looking forward. Same here. Chalo. So tomorrow, now as we move on, the things will go higher and higher. The sums will become advanced and advanced. Finally, we'll be done. Chalo. Thank you so much, guys. Hasta la vista. Take care. Bye bye. In case of any doubts, I have already given my WhatsApp number to you guys. So you can just drop me a WhatsApp and I'll be happy to help. Thank you so much. In case, suppose you drop a WhatsApp and I have not replied. You can please send me a reminder. One reminder, two reminder, ten reminder. I never get angry. But keep on reminding. Because there are so many WhatsApps. Invariably, at times, it I miss it. So, if that happens with you, you can just keep me a reminder. Ciao guys. Thank you so much. Had a great time. Keep studying hard. Now, the duration will keep on increasing on day by day. As we get accustomed to each other and the wavelength matches. Alright guys. Thank you so much, Mega Lakshmi. Take care. Where will we get the Google Drive link? You will get it tomorrow. Don't worry. As of now, the lectures are open. Probably tomorrow, day after tomorrow, you will start getting Google Drive link and everything. Okay, guys? Chal. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Anything else you can ask?